Good evening, ma'am. You have a moment? Can I get you something to drink, Lieutenant? No, I'll find Fried soda, dish, mineral water? No. One quick question. Uh, you want to sit down? It's about your divorce. Mm-hmm. You remember when we first met, it was in a lingerie shop? You were telling me about your marriage and how for six months you've been going through a difficult divorce. And because of that, you couldn't honestly say that you were feeling any deep sense of loss over Freddie's passing, that you really wanted that marriage to be over. It was true. I don't doubt that for a minute, ma'am. That's what's bothering me. What? Why didn't you sign the divorce decree? Honestly? I didn't like the communal debt clause. The communal debt clause? But your husband's attorney told me that Mr. Brower signed and mailed a copy of the final decree on October 2nd, and he had eliminated the communal debt clause. And your attorney told me that you got a copy of that document on October 4th, almost a month ago, and you never signed it. I see. Well, yes, I suppose that does need to be explained, doesn't it, Lieutenant? Have you ever gone through a divorce, Lieutenant? Heaven forbid. Well, I hope for your sake you never do. All that tough talk, Lieutenant, fades like a blush when... All of a sudden, the doorbell rings, and somebody hands you this very imposing legal document called Final Decree. And there's your soon-to-be ex-mate signature already in place. And the only thing that's missing, the only thing that keeps the door from closing on a chapter in your life, which you personally, royally played your part in blowing all to hell, is your own John Hancock. Well, let me tell you, Lieutenant, it gives one pause. I didn't sign the final decree, Lieutenant, because I couldn't bring myself to admit that what was being granted was what I actually wanted. It's funny how we often learn things about ourselves much too late to change them. Oh, Freddie. Just one more thing. <laughs>